Hello, my fellow Americans. My name is Thomas Alva Edison, famed inventor of the quadruplex telegraph, cement pianos, a fireproof factory which burned to the ground, and several other inventions of note. And to what do I credit my historic success? Failure. That's right. The same failure that comprises most of your lives, I turned into fame and fortune and the respect of millions of God-fearing American nerds. You see, I'm like one of your friends who asks every woman he meets for a date because he knows eventually one will say yes. But I'm not looking for a mate. I'm looking for financially significant patents that haven't been claimed. At the beginning, I did things the hard way, invented something truly new, a dead-end cylindrical phonograph technology that earned me the name Wizard of Menlo Park, owing to the complete stupidity of people of the time. This invention taught me that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. I tested this theory literally, drinking the sweat of great minds in order to steal their ideas. I soon learned it was far simpler to use legal and business means. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Joseph Swan. <coughs> it was around that time that I felt as something uh, turning on over my head, and I thought, hey, here's an idea. Let's slightly improve upon and patent for profit. I am referring, of course, to the incandescent light bulb. The same bulb we're using it... Oh. I see these are all LED lights. Still, the incandescent had a great run. And as far as most of you know, I invented it. In truth, I invented something even better the Research and Development Department. This is a big building where people devote themselves to improving technology, especially in slightly improving recently invented technologies so that we can patent and market a superior version. And the best thing about that building, I own it. So anything that is invented by anybody in that building, I invented it in much the same way your boss is responsible for all of your best work. Imagine if I had tested my ideas on x-rays myself. Instead of my employee, Clarence Daly, it would have been me who had his arms amputated and later died of cancer. And logistically speaking, it's a lot easier to put your name on ideas when you house people all in the same building. Apple and Disney, you're welcome. <laughs> Say, did you ever notice that Edison is almost an anagram for Disney? And that we both sign our names like egomaniacal dicks? But I digress. Once you have set up your invention factory, then all you have to do is find inventions whose time have come and put your name on them. Take the light bulb. There were more than 20 versions before ours, and I had to sue for six years to win that patent. Our argument was that I had found a better filament. I found it because I had hundreds of employees testing hundreds of materials, sometimes almost haphazardly, until by chance they came up with one that was superior to our competitors. See? Enough failure always leads to eventual success. But hire someone to do the failing for you. Then you can focus on marketing and infrastructure. I always knew that the big money was in becoming a utility. And I made electricity cheap and available for the first time. Infrastructure. As for marketing, I told everybody that the competitors' electricity would kill their families, and proved it by electro-killing stray dogs and cats, and once, even an elephant, for variety. Then, I invented the electric chair and got it made a legal form of execution. I'm only sorry that uh, Topsy the elephant isn't alive to see how I feel. 
Booyah, kasha! <laughs> oh, oh, and the superior filament? We said I came up with it while looking at a bamboo fishing rod on vacation during a solar eclipse. The rubes love sh like that. It was actually discovered by a nameless Edison employee who died of chemical poisoning. I believe that America is the greatest nation on this earth because of our resolve. Use that resolve to grab dibs on things. Dibs and dibs and dibs until your name is legend. No matter how many times the universe says no, just keep asking. Eventually, they'll say, fine, if you'll just quit talking, fine. And the rubes will make of you a figurehead over the work of thousands, because they can only remember one name on their midterms. That's my talk. There will be an idea box at the exit. Please do jot down any viable product concepts I may have inspired in you. They are all now property of Edison LLC. In closing, there's a sucker born every minute. That nobody has ever gone broke underestimating the intelligence of the public. And the rubes always like a show with an elephant. I've been P.T. Barn... Thomas Edison, without whom you'd be scratching out miserable lives in darkness, in constant fear of being trampled by overabundant elephants. Oh, my favorite movie is Birth of a Nation, the KKK one. Thank you. Hey there, thank you for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe. You know, get in there with us. And that the old Tom Edison, not a nice guy, huh? Boop, I've got an idea. Why don't you tell us who your favorite human monster is? Right in, huh? Thanks.